Dan here, Diddy Speed Shop. Uh, today, back in the shop, we're always in the shop. Every day, if I'm not at work or not sleeping, I'm in the shop. Today, we're gonna work on this fine 6.7 Camaro, as per usual. I actually found this drive shaft, uh, I believe came with this car. Um, it's got the right yoke for it. She's a little on the rusty side, but fine spline, 27 spline, is that what they are? Looks straight-ish. Maybe a little, a little rusty. We'll give her a little, a little once over, and then put the tape on it. It's uh, just under 50 inches from uh, end to end. So call it 49 three quarter. When I was under there, or seven eighths. When I was under there, I measured 49 and a half. So I did it for a drive shaft, and I Googled it, and this I think is a factory Camaro drive shaft and it says this is the length 49 and 7 eighths unless it's a big block four speed then it's actually longer i think it said which i guess they must move the motor ahead or something i don't know so i thought okay well we'll take a gamble on that now it came with what do i do with them it's got outside and then inside u-joint kind of clip deals because this i believe is how a pontiac rear end is is dialed together. I have it outside. It doesn't have the little tangs on the outside. Well, we can go into differential graveyard while we're at it. I'll show you. I'll give you the full tour here. But this is the rear end that was out of it. Oh, lock nuts. I could use those. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't have the little tang on the side. So it locks in on the center. Anyway, so we got to change the U-joint, and of course, you, I always have some 1310 on 1310 U-joints because what the hell are you doing if you don't have one of these in stock? But then I was thinking, what if I just took the end cap and I just switched them? That's basically the same as changing the U-joint. So we're gonna do that just to see if it'll fit. And I got a strap kit around here somewhere. Again, you gotta have a strap kit. And then if I keep, this cap, I don't know what to do with the other one. Because I was thinking I'll just put this back together like that. Then I'll have a U joint which I can use in that other diff. You know, when I sell this thing and the guy doesn't want to pay me any money, I'll put the old 10 bolt back in. We'll use that. More than just a hat rack, my friends. So we're going to do that. I also want to make this thing a four speed. So we have uh, one's the shifter. And one's all the levers. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up. We're going to pull all this stuff out. We're going to cut a hole in this. I'm thinking right here, <laughs> where it already has a hole, is where I'm going to cut it. We'll have to look underneath. This thing did have... Uh, we'll do some measuring. It's cut down the side. There was all sorts of butchery someone had done to put um, a floor shifter in this thing. And then in this box, I have what's left over for the clutch... Uh, linkage, whatever you want to call it there. So the clutch is all, well, it's in the car, in the transmission, and we have all the bars, the pedal is hooked up and everything, but at the end of the Z-bar, there's just, there's nobody home. So we gotta put that in. So I think that's the plan today. Drive shaft in, hole in floor, levers in, which might be a pain. And again, this, uh, the body shop lift, it, it's a bit of a hassle for right in the center of a car. And I don't know if you guys are new here, but the center of the car is the transmission. I was originally going to do exhaust today. I know I've been putting that off for a couple of videos and I will get to it, but it doesn't make sense to put the exhaust in while I'm going to be right under there beside the exhaust doing all the, the uh, levers and whatnot. So let's unbox this stuff and maybe we'll slide that drive shaft in, see what it looks like. Kind of go from there. We'll be right back. I also got to turn the heat on. It's cold. I didn't leave it on last night. It's not spring yet. All right, sorry guys, you're gonna have to listen to the heater chug along because it's cold and I'm sensitive. Okay, pull this yoke out. I don't know if I just pull this whole exhaust out. Is it a hassle? My life? Oh, yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. Jammed it in there like an idiot. Do I have a hammer? Hang on, we'll get a hammer. 
pop these muffs right off. See if we can get this all dialed together. Like I said, I'm gonna chop this exhaust up a little bit. The H pipe's cool, but it's really getting in a guy's way, so we'll see if we can. Oh, that is on there. Huh. What am I, uh... oh man. Oh, there we go, that's one, okay. Oh, that almost hit me in the face. Fine, muffler off. Come on. There we go. One. What? Oh, okay. Now this should just. Come on. There we go. Ah. Perfect. Okay. Now, as I was saying, we'll take this yoke out. Oh yeah, this one's in good shape. The other one's kind of, kind of beat. Oh, I meant to give her a little, a little lube up too. Hang on. Don't worry, I'm walking with both legs. Little WD. It's not a lubricant, it's a solvent. Yep, yeah it is. Okay. Grab this. Gentle. Yeah, this one here, she's seen better days, unfortunately, but... They don't give these yolks away no more. You can see on this one, it's got a pretty big wear ridge right there. But, fits and goes in a little further or out. Oh, that's not happy. Transmission's in neutral, which is a bit of a hassle. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go, oh, come on. Oof, the inside of this might be up. Yep, she's a little jumped up. Well, oh. I also, I put it in the whole <laughs> Idiot. What's going on in here? It's just full of junk. Where did I put that WD? Oh, I knocked it over. Ah. It is hot rodding. That a little spritz too for good luck. Let's see if we can make this fit. Oh, this is a little awkward. Oh, but actually, you know what? That's gonna be the right length, I'm thinking. So just go in. Maybe just maybe it's the short whack with the hammer. Oh, my hair's gone. Really not happy. Why? It's turning, it's in there. Ugh. That right there. Yeah, that's the ticket. It's just the splines might have been sitting outside a little. A couple of suspension cycles will fix that right up. Oh, there we go. Much better. Okay. So that fit. You guys want to see what I'm doing? So now we're right in the ballpark here. Is that bottomed out? Almost. Take these caps off. Maybe. Yep. Perfect. That's one, that's two. Oh, that is, that's perfect right there. Almost makes me wish I would have painted this thing. Oof, it is stuck in that transmission, but there you go. That is the right length of drive shaft. Whoa, gentle. Yeah, perfect. Now we go three quarters of an inch. Um, I wonder if I should try and clean that up a little, maybe. Did I put diffo in this? Yeah. I'm gonna think on it. You know, but well, you guys are commenting about how this is dirty. Okay, so I ran her in and out a few times, but basically it's it's not bad now. It's a little stiff, but oh, can we see in there? 
Oh, can we see there? Look at that, perfect amount, an inch of play or mint. So that's good. Now, put you guys back on your little, your little stand there. Whoop, I buggered it, hang on, sorry. It's, I feel like Danny's around the camera here. And up. Now, I just need a strap kit, which obviously, keep in your shirt pocket or your favorite plaid sweater. Just completely wore out. Oh, you know what this one is? This one is not a through, but uh, the two little pads, which I don't have my shirt pocket, but I got it over here. Hang on. Look at this. Oh, I hit my head. This is what we need right here. So I don't have a wrench for this. That'll just, oh, nicely done, Dan. You know, every now and again, I know I'm messy, but you got the right tools sometimes. So that's perfect. Don't worry, we'll wait till this thing's running. We'll put it in high gear, idle, and then we'll, we'll paint the drive shaft while they're spinning. Is that it? Oh, I might have to move that. There she goes. See if I put this in a finger tight, I'll remember to come back and snug it up. No, don't worry, I'll come back and tighten it up right now. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll get this snugged in there, and then I gotta pick where I want to cut a hole for the shifter, but I think I got a pretty good idea because this thing actually already has a little bit, but let's debox all that uh, fancy shifter stuff and see what we got going on. I'm gonna tighten that right quick before I forget. So my marvelous plan didn't work. Obviously you joins are different and Scott. She's got to play. So that's gonna come out and be changed. I thought I was a genius. But it's fine for now. At least we know it fits. What a bummer. Come on, Chevy, get your stuff together here. What about the lazy hacks in the backyard don't want to do this? Oh well. Two clips, it'll be out in a minute. Eh? Oh, I gotta put the grease fitting in, but I stalled. The only thing is, right here, she got a bit of a shawamo on her, so yeah, hopefully that'll be fine. The high speed pulls. Let's work on a four speed. Okay, fun stuff. Let's get to it. Now, I will say, I have never actually installed one of these. They've always been on cars, they've always been trashed. Oh, I gotta get the. My face in here, maybe move for a little further back. Well, we gotta get the good looking guy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's already installed, ready to go. The zip tie. Side cutters. I own it. So, this is a very simple kind of setup. They really watched me scratch this immediately. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple deal. All this is gonna do is control a few rads, which I'm assuming is in that box. So this whole thing, oh, that's cool. Probably has to come apart to uh, go on the transmission, but the biggest thing is people struggle with, oh, you know what though, this is, i gonna put the Hurst ball on. I guess this moves over so it's dead center in the tunnel. The other one was off to the side. So this is gonna bolt to the side of the transmission. Come on. Uh, kind of at the, the tail housing area. I believe there's, well, there's gonna be a, make a stand on a little bracket or something like that it attaches to. And the big thing is this, you can use, this is a tool or a drill bit or something like that. When you put all your rods in, they're gonna be adjustable front and back. And you wanna make sure that when the thing's in neutral, I believe, that pin goes in and out, and that means everything is a ligged up, which is very important. Otherwise, you won't go in and out of gear properly and stuff like that. And when there's also these here are your stops, front and back. So you gotta make sure those are also aligned. Yeah, so here's here's all the stuff. So these are the rods. 
which are actually going to control everything because there's a set of levers. Oh, look at that. It even comes with another alignment tool. Oh, it's got metal bushings in it or oil impregnated bushings, all the bolts, all the hardware you need. So that's handy. But what's going to happen, I assume this plate here is going to bolt to the transmission. There's going to be two bolts there would bolt to the actual shifter. And here are the rods which you can see they're threaded on the end. So one side's gonna go, I think the transmission side is that. And then there's these little ball kind of adjuster ends. Hang on, I'll pull it out for you. It'll give you the full experience. And this way, I will lose something just for fun. So these things here, will thread on and you can see, you can adjust them in and out. This piece here will go into the lever, which will be on the transmission, which again is very simple. So the transmission has kind of like a keyway, it sticks out. So I'll be on the transmission. This will go through here. There will be one of those little uh, bronze bushings with a pin. And all it's doing is first, second, third, fourth, and reverse. So I assume you want to have the transmission probably in neutral. We'll do a little reading on the instructions and kind of jam this all together, but a pretty simple setup. Now, the thing is here, you see this thing has a little kind of schwank in it. I bought in my Nova, there's a guy who had a transmission. It was nice, it was on a little wooden pallet thing he made with wheels on it. And at some point somebody had jacked it or lifted it or done something and bent all these rods to shit. I tell you what, that's a nightmare because all these rods, they all get real tight together, they got jammed up, bunged up, adjustment in and out, oh, it would get stuck in gear. Nightmare. So you know what I did about it? I stopped driving the car <laughs> instead of spending the few hundred dollars on new rods. But uh, such is life. Okay, I'm gonna read some instructions real quick and we'll get in the car, we'll start cutting a little hole out. Maybe it's got a template even, that'd be a bonus. It's oily. Everything's unboxed. And check this out, step one. Install the mounting plate on tail shaft and tighten three bolts equally, okay? Step two, assemble, or, and uh, install shifter. Step two, assemble arms and rods with bushings and clips. <laughs> there you go. Two steps. Um, when you open it up a little bit more, it gives you a couple different options based on the uh, pre and post Muncie uh, 69 and, and earlier and 69 and later. This is a pre and then Borg and Warner. We're not using any of that. It then tells you how you should put your uh, arms on, and it gives you a little option here. This is the big difference. Actually, I didn't know this, but pre-69, it's got a stud on it, and post, it's got a, uh, you, you put a bolt in. So that's that, and it tells you just kind of what way the arms should go. So by looks of it, we'll be doing uh, this one out, this one goes into the transmission, and this is the reverse. Uh, and by looks at the bottom here, this is for um, some models, maybe all models. It's got like a little lockout, I believe. You gotta put it in reverse or something like that. But what we could probably use it for is uh, backup plates. We'll need something to tag onto that. They'll have kind of like a little rod into a micro switch, which just as it goes in reverse, the lever will move and, and trigger it. So that's that. These are the little bushings. So what these are gonna do is they're gonna fit in there take up all the slop, and then we can just put that in there like that. And because we're using this style with the pedestal, it has this little locking ring that goes in. So it should be pretty simple. It'll be, uh, yeah, a couple of nuts and bolts, which it looks like it has all the hardware, and little locking rings, and then these little clips. Oh, we're holding everything together. Instead of like a cotter pin, they're like, that's that. As for the shifter, I put it together just for fun, but it's gonna be, there's loose two bolts, go to the pedestal, and uh, I have to get under there, and we gotta mount this up with four bolts or three bolts, whatever we can. I think it might just be one, two, three. I'll undo that, then we'll have a good idea as to where the hole has to come out, because the shifter, if we look at it, Wherever this can be in the transmission, up and over, that's where the hole has to be. And I don't know how much of that's through the floor. So we'll do a little cutting. Step one, 
Get this piece on. It actually should go pretty darn quick. Competition a plus. The other thing actually was under there, I kind of remember it on my Nova. I think I have to trim that shift or the clutch fork. I think it might hit the floor. <laughs> that would have been way easier to do with it all apart. But uh, hey, we'll struggle. No big deal. I'll get this piece on. I'll show you. It's going to be under the car. And let's be honest, I'm going to be like bound up like a, I don't even know what to try and get in there. So it's going to be terrible. Well, the old measure zero times and cut once burned me. So this was the plate that was on it. Um, so it went on, it basically was straight up. And uh, I had to cut a bit of a hole because this sticks up. And as you can see in there, see how this one kind of really jogs over towards the driver? I guess maybe that's what you want. It seems funny. It jogs over, but then the shifter brings it all the way back, but such is life. So now you can clearly see why <laughs> that was cut out and put back together because this wants to live right there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut, well, exactly out what it was. And I might have to weld this back in. We'll see. I'm not really too sure, but definitely the shifter is going to be out the side of the tunnel, which is a little... Well, it is what it is. There's no going around. I got to get a boot. That's one thing it didn't come with was a boot. I had a big boot. Where did I put my boot? But anyway, we can put that in, deal with it later, and we can, we can weld some stuff in. I actually, this is uh, for the shifter cable. I got to weld a little thing in there while I'm at it. But uh, let's go ahead, cut the grinder out. We'll just kind of slice this how it was and bolt this in. Then it'll at least look cool. Because a shifter will be sticking through the floor. These Camaros are very really strange. Um, I'm used to tri fives, which A have a round tunnel. This is a squared off tunnel. I don't know if that's better or worse. Actually, you know, probably isn't too bad for some very easy to fabricate and widen versus a, a round one. But and all the braces are on top of the floor versus underneath. So the floors rot out, but all your braces stay in good shape. So there you go. Economy uh, 67 Camaro. Worth it. Let's cut this piece out. Okay, let's just goggle up here, protect my precious eyeballs, and uh, move the shifter away because that's the most expensive thing in the car right now. More expensive than that intake. Okay, let's uh, go. Okay, let's get the bolts. Should have grabbed those before. Rookie mistake here, Dan. So the top one has a washer and a lock washer. The back one only has a lock washer. Hopefully this eyeball cuts her good enough. I guess worst case we do have a welder. Oh, a little bit more actually has to come out. In the front, for sure. Actually, on the side. Wow, it's quite a tight, a tight fit. This has this little thing here. Okay, well that's where that's gonna live. So obviously I can <laughs> weld this piece back in. Look at that, though. You know, if it was 1976, I'd have the coolest car in the parking lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wonder if I should just, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it's sure, it's probably what you want. It's like your steering wheel, bam. This is adjustable. Who knows? Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to lock that down. And uh, we can probably start carrying on. I gotta pull the floor over just a little bit. And really, I guess I'll need a boot that kind of has an angle to it or something, maybe. Hmm. Bad dog he keeps licking his foot, so Danny has to film. So Steve's out here supervising, being a pain in my ass. Anyway, so our plan is I got the levers in. Hey. Yeah, they get it, Steve. So I got the levers in. Now what we have to do, you wanna put these in, buddy? 
Yeah, brand new, expensive. Um, I have to adjust these. Now, oh, he stepped on the instructions. Come on, he's really DD Speed Shop in this. So the way it goes is the adjuster is in the transmission type deal. And it looks pretty simple. So the long rod is three, four, the medium rod is one, two, and then the short rod at the back will be reverse in and out. So we'll go ahead and try and get these set up. I got Danny out here, so just filming the tripod because I have to jam myself through the triangle of death and get in there. The locks are on, don't worry, we're fine. But as long as the insurance is all paid up and the papers are signed. Hey, you kind of smell like pizza. Did he have pizza today? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> what one do I want? Okay, Steve, buddy, come on. He's helping. No, he's being, he's helping like Danielle helps. And we're good helpers. Okay, I came, I got you out here to film, film. Okay, so this is going to go on the this outside. Shot. Yeah. I work my pretty little fingers to the bone so he can eat bones. Oh, I can't see anything. This is, oh no. I have to do more cutting. Oh, and I've lost the pushing. Son of a. Okay, you know what we can do though? So three, four ain't gonna fit. But one, two, I think we got enough room to get in there. Look at this. This is a real, this is a real hassle. Body shop lift. So jam this in there. Just bare. Oh, this thing wanna fit. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Got it. <laughs> Hi, bud. Stupid dogs. So now, how's this work? You think? Oh, maybe I should have done just three seconds. Of, it's exactly where I don't want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling big time here. Like I just can't. I just can't uh, crawl in here. Oh yeah, it isn't too bad here. Oh, uh, uh, you know, it's endless. Well, if I put that there, I'm in the way of the light. My old eyes can't see anymore. That's 10 times worse. The only win of the day was I found this drive shaft that fit miraculously and saved me a few hundred bucks. So that was nice, nice little win. No, 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 that's happening. You know, again, I could have read the instructions on how these go together. <laughs> can I blame the dog? No. Oh, you know what we can do is take this rod right out. This was, this was dumb. I see what I, I'm the problem. Can I imagine the people yelling at the screen? They've done it 85 times. You're usually the problem. You moron. And I'm going, yeah, yeah. You ain't wrong, sir. Yeah. Feel free to leave a comment below about how stupid Dan is. Oh, there we go. That's a... Can I also leave a comment below about how stupid Dan is? Oh, no, I buggered it though. Oh, that's not bad. No, you're on Team DD Speed Shop, whether you like it or not. Uh -huh. Oh. It really does smell like pizza. What, what's for dinner tonight? Barbecue chicken. Oh, that's definitely not pizza. But there's lots of garlic. Oh, maybe that's there's what I'm saying. broccoli and potato salad too. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's got all the thread to go yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. We'll get the two, three rod in. Oh, can you pass me those? Uh, oh, I need this. I need the a clip. Clip from that side. Oh yeah, fetch Steve. Does he even know what that means? He does not. He is on the dumber side. But he is a Velcro dog, but he just where I go, Steve goes. What did you want here? See those little that pile of clips? I just need them? one. Just need one. I'll lose the rest. Let's be honest here. All of them? No, no. One at a time. That way I can lose it one at a time. I'm trying to find, see where you are in here. Trust me, I'm uh, 
struggling myself. So right now I'm just trying to oh, make this fit together, but it is, oh, it's hard on my arm, my shoulder. You know, I even had a healthy lunch today, salad. Really, you had a salad? I had a salad. Yeah. Where from? Uh, went to Moxie's today, actually. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Boss took us out, pretty good day. That's nice. Well, what can you say? When you do mediocre work, you get... Special treat. Mediocre I treat. I had sushi for lunch. Oh, how would you afford that? I used the $20 bill I found in your pocket. I had a $20 bill? <laughs> you did. Well, not anymore. <laughs> well, it's nice to know I had one. <laughs> Easy come. Easy, Easy go. go. This is brutal. I honestly thought we'd have it all together and I'd be rowing gears by now. Oh, nailed it. Okay, I got that. So what? What are you trying to do? Well, I'm trying to be exactly where you are, so that's part of the problem. Oh. Oh, this. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Well, is he licking his foot? No, he's just watching. He's just watching what? You. <laughs> and he's trying to get pets from me. Okay, we have one, two. Can you pet? Hi, buddy. Can you pass me the short rod? Two of those. <laughs> Two bushings. He's too dumb and I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> two bushings, two gold things, and two clips. Clips are all stuck together. Well, I only need two. Oh, this is very uncomfortable. Okay, now I don't actually know how the, oh. What do the instructions say? <laughs> I feel like I'm in prison. Okay, so the, it goes to the outside. That's a handsome bowl. <laughs> this, this is my life. Okay. Oh, ouch. Uh, how does this go? So those of you who are listening, I am adjusting the rod. <laughs> Danielle, I swear. This is, between the two of you, you're friggin' disasters. Okay, we we can't that. even see what's happening. I can't see what's happening. <laughs> like, we're, we're literally looking at blank space and then your giant forehead. So okay. why not look at the dog? It's not that big. <laughs> you know, I'm out here slaving away, building you the car you want. Speaking of which, can I have another $20? Is it in my pants? Ah, oh, is it in my hair? I feel like it grazed my eyeball. <laughs> These spring clips are springy. They're not messing around. How am I getting this in here though? Can I put it, oh, put it in reverse maybe? Oh, I am, I'm shaking because I can't hold these positions. This is like hot yoga. <laughs> <laughs> what have you ever done hot yoga? I don't yoga? know, but I saw it on the internet. Those girls like to change it, you know? They're trying on their pants. <laughs> Sometimes you get into a loophole. <laughs> You're such a perv. <laughs> it's not my fault. Okay. I think I got this one too. Wow, this is brutal. Maybe, you know what I would do? I would pay a guy to do this. If you don't have a shot or a hoist. Okay, come on. Okay, so we got... Riveting. We got one, two, ow. And we got reverse. Ow, ouch, ouch. Oh, oh, that's hard on my, I got sore ankles too. So now what I gotta do, I gotta trim out just a little bit more of the floor. Wow, I can barely stand. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll come back and I'll put that last, you know what, I'll just do the last rod and then I'll show you banging gears. We'll get that done right quick. Put muffs on his ears here. I don't want him to get tinnitus. Oh, it's brutal. Okay, watch the pup. Going down, Steve. Oh, yeah, I left. You had a lot. I forgot. Oh, I forgot the lock. That'll happen. Safety. Oh. 
Yep, safety dog. Don't lick your stupid foot. Oh, my knees. It was just an awkward position. You know what we should do? Sell everything, buy a big shop out in the country, like everybody says. <laughs> Get a hoist. Buy a hoist. But then it wouldn't be fun. Okay. This rod here is kind of just barely kissing the floor. We should be able to put the pin out. First gear. Uh, so, three, four is good. One, set. Doesn't want to go in second, but that's probably just whatever. And then let's reverse on this. Go all the way over, yeah. So reverse works. First gear, oh, there we go. There's first, second, first. Neutral. Set, oh no. We got a little bit of something going on there. Is that? That's reverse, okay, hang on. Oh, there's second, first, second, third, fourth. Is that right? Or I hooked these up backwards. Oh no, that's right, yeah, the short rod is one, two, three, four, reverse. But no clutch, it's definitely a little kind of cattywampus. That was a lot of work. That was you look good. <laughs> that was my hair. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly, that was... Today was a long day under the car, even though... I don't know what happened. So now, of course, I've overcut everything. I have to cut a little bit more here so we can get to our adjusters. This here, I'm wondering, I'd like to actually build a box out and around this. Because, I mean, this is, that's a little funny. I'll have to see if anybody saw anything on the internet. And then I overcut in the, in the center. So, <laughs> maybe we'll have to uh, do something different there. But that's, that's pretty badass. I think now the wheel, oh, I don't have any, uh, a wheel in there to spin, but, oh yeah, look at that, if we pull it out, that shifter just looks cool, eh, and then we're in neutral, that's, uh, once you're in here, this is really, it's going to feel like John Wick, like the shifter is so <laughs> close to the steering wheel, That. Dan dog. Hey buddy, you wanna go for a ride right away? So at the end of the day, man. First gear, second gear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be out here just rowing gears. That's a pretty quick little ratio. Oh, okay. So that's really even that. Um, I think. Thank God, actually, we had the exhaust off. I didn't finish it yet for a third video in a row. I didn't finish the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> but right where I was was exactly where the exhaust was going to be. So that would have been a nightmare. We're going to have to keep that manual because that shows you how everything kind of goes, which is pretty handy for a little diagram of what way the levers are because they bow out, they bow in. Man, you're a good little dog, eh? So if you're licking your foot. Um, so we get that taken care of. What was I saying? Keep that. Oh, exhaust. So I, I yeah, I dilly dallied on the exhaust yet again. But we can get that all taken care of on the next one. Can you, <laughs> <laughs> you took my last twenty. What can I say? I can't afford pants. I'm too busy rolling gears with my thousand dollar shifter. So yeah, we'll finish up that. We'll do the exhaust in the next one. So exhaust can be dialed, and then all that's left. Actually, I bought a box of, uh, Kate, enough with the dog, the dog talk. I went out and bought a box of miscellaneous stuff today, local. Man, how much do you think this box cost of stuff? $250. Wow, it's actually 180, which is really ludicrous, but that's what it is. So we got rad hoses, intake gasket set. I got a water neck, a thermostat, just some basic things, but we can put that together. Danielle. We're working over here. So, I don't want to crush anything. Yeah, we're good. We'll get the exhaust dialed, but then intake has to come off. So we'll do intake off. I have a starter. I think I got a mini starter inside. 
Water pump should be here tomorrow. We have fuel pump. Honestly, I think we have almost everything we need. We don't have a fan. We don't have any front, we don't have any belts or nothing like that. But we should be able to put this thing together. We gotta give this intake manifold back to Cecil. He's charging us by the day. <laughs> Rental. They are not cheap, those engine builders. But that's that. I mean, just look at this four speed one more time before we go. Look how cool it looks. I really did butcher the floor, unfortunately. I'll make that look nice. We got a carpet kit coming. I got door panels coming. Oh, okay, hang on, I gotta roll. I gotta roll the gears one more time here. You're gonna love this thing, darling. It'll be like when we were driving Josh's car. Well, I guess it's probably like the Nomad. I guess you've been in a sticker. Quit with the dog. If you if you have a four speed and you're not sitting in your car just rowing gears for no reason, we can't be friends. So there we have it. We'll be back. I promise on the next video I will attempt the exhaust and we'll see if we actually pull it through or not. We gotta go in and take care of our dog, our medicated dog. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below, please, and all those things. Come on, Stan. See you on the next one. Watch the door. He's a dog, he doesn't understand how doors work. <laughs>